Justin Bieber seems to be on everyone's radar recently with the release of his latest album, Justice. While the singer has been busy, he's admitted to prioritizing more time with his wife Haley, and the pair just decided to take some time off in Turks and Caicos together. The couple has also been trimming their real estate portfolio and sold the first Beverly Hills home they bought together, fully furnished, at the end of 2020. It isn't a loss though, considering the Bieber's upsize to a $25 million plus mansion in Beverly Park just before letting that place go. Today we'll check out a few of Justin's properties, we even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Justin Drew Bieber is a Canadian singer, songwriter, and multi-instrumentalist who was discovered at age 13 thanks to his YouTube cover song videos. The rest was history. The success Justin experienced came almost instantly, being the first artist to have seven songs from a debut album hit the Billboard charts. These days, with sales of over 150 million records, the Biebs is one of the world's best-selling music artists, and has received numerous awards over his career so far. We'll see if his new album Justice also tops the charts. I'm guessing it will. Like many teen stars, Justin had his fair share of drama and scandalous behavior. His starter mansion in Calabasas served as one of the settings at this time in his life, which we'll take a look at. There were some vandalism charges, a situation including eggs, and more. So no wonder neighbors in the upscale neighborhood weren't fond of the beeps. Nowadays, Justin is a married man and has definitely settled down. He credits his other half Haley Baldwin Bieber for a lot of that too. In a recent interview with SiriusXM, the Biebs discussed love, marriage, and Haley, who also inspired one of the songs on Justin's new album, Unstable. The singer said he prioritizes his family and home time a lot more now, explaining, I'm just gonna spend time with my wife, whether it's watching movies or whatever that looks like, but just prioritizing my family and prioritizing like, you know, I never had a consistent family life. It was kind of all over the place growing up, so finally having that predictability and reliability and someone who I love and trust has been so monumental. And when the star couple isn't on a tropical beach getaway, they have more than one gorgeous property they can call home. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell, we post a new video daily. Today we're looking at a few homes Justin Bieber has owned, like the mansion from his party days he sold to another celebrity and some of he and his wife Haley's more recent property purchases. With a net worth of over $285 million or more, you already know the Biebs is living lavish. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Back in 2012, when Justin was only 18, he dropped $6.5 million for a property in a gated Calabasas community called The Oaks. His starter mansion was a home most of us only dream of, situated on 1.3 acres of land and built in a Spanish villa style. Inside, the mansion spanned 10,000 square feet, with seven beds, eight baths, and floors were a mix of rustic tiles and hardwood throughout. Besides the dining room, spacious eating kitchen, and multitude of living areas and dens with fireplaces, there were a handful of other highlights. Justin wasn't even drinking age when he moved in, but there were features like a wet bar and a large wine cellar. Elsewhere, the mansion boasted a games room and a home movie theater. One of the main attractions at Justin's Calabasas pad was definitely the pool, perfect to entertain, and by the sounds of it, the star did throw some wild parties here. After living here for about a year, neighbors started complaining about the Biebs, saying he ignored posted speed limits and just about all other rules of the gated community. Aside from him and his buddies at the the time burning rubber with his sports cars on the quiet street, Justin was later charged with vandalism after egging a neighbor's house, paying 80k in court for the crime. It's safe to say the Oaks wasn't a fit for Bieber, and neighbors were relieved when he moved out in 2014. He sold the home to none other than Khloe Kardashian for $7.2 million. She ended up being a better neighbor and called the place home up until last year. Justin went on to rent multiple properties in LA, all luxurious as they come, but after settling down with Haley and their secret courthouse marriage in 2018, the pair made a big real estate move together. This estate, nicknamed The Tropics, was the couple's first home together, and it was located in Beverly Hills on a quiet street right next door to Jeff Bezos' $175 million compound, no less. It cost them $8.5 million and spanned 6,100 square feet of space with five beds and seven baths. Within months of moving in, Justin was already getting restless, posting pics on Instagram and offering to sell it. 
one of the captions reading, I think I want to sell my Beverly Hills home. Who wants it? I'll sell it with all the furniture. Make an offer. The Chic property was built back in 1932 but went through an 18 month remodel in 2017, recreating the home's design as a mix of casual Los Angeles style and Hollywood Art Deco glamour. A gated courtyard here offered a pebble garden and olive trees, while out back, the yard was fully private, and under the towering trees, there was a barbecue area, cabana with fireplace, and a sleek infinity edge pool. Inside, Justin's former abode had white oak floors and steel cased windows, along with with open plan common spaces like the living room with fireplace and the kitchen which was decked out in high end wolf and sub zero appliances. The office conveniently opens up to the poolside patio via French doors and downstairs the modern home had an art deco style bar and soundproof movie theater inspired by the Beverly Hills Hotel. The Beavers also shared a master suite with vaulted ceiling and exposed wooden beams as well as a marble fireplace and attached luxury ensuite bath and dressing rooms. Considering the couple upsized to a more massive mansion in the same city, they officially put the tropics up for sale in fall 2020. To sell, the Beebs appointed some help and one agent working with the couple was none other than Ariana Grande's famed realtor fiance, Dalton Gomez. In the end, Justin and Haley actually did sell their home fully furnished for $7.9 million, unfortunately taking a loss of about 545k. Also last year, Justin and Haley bought a new mega mansion like I mentioned in the posh neighborhood of Beverly Park, costing them a whopping 25.8 million dollars. The supersized 90210 pad spans over 11,000 square feet of space and sits in the south section of this celeb infested hood, where their nearest neighbors include the likes of Samuel L. Jackson and Magic and Cookie Johnson. The mansion, originally built in the late 80s, underwent a multi-million dollar remodel within the last few years and is now full of contemporary interiors and modern upgrades. The 2.5 acre estate boasts a two level grand entryway with checkerboard black and white stone floors and a curved staircase, as well as a living room with large black fireplace. The Beavers can enjoy other rooms like a family room which opens to a chef's kitchen and a library with built in shelves that opens to the gardens. Elsewhere, there's a home gym, movie theater decked out in blue velour, and Justin and Haley's new master suite with its own sitting room and floor to ceiling glass doors opening to a terrace. Outside, there's a covered patio for entertaining, as well as a fireplace, infinity pool, and full size tennis court. Let's not forget that Justin also bought a mansion in his home and native land of Canada back in 2018, where the Beavers spent a lot of their quarantine in 2020. Their gorgeous property is located in a quiet area of Ontario on Poos Lynch Lake near Cambridge, far away from the busyness of the city. When the couple wants their peace and quiet, they can retreat here to their $5 million estate situated on 101 acres of land. The home boasts about 9,000 square feet and was built in 2012 with fresh and modern interiors including soaring ceilings, reclaimed beams and stone counters. There are also a ton of floor to ceiling windows throughout the 4 bed 6 bath mansion which bring in plenty of natural light. Justin and Haley have a beautiful open plan kitchen, dining room and living room here and directly next to this space is the glassed off 2 story wine cellar. This is only one of the custom built features in their stunning mansion. The property also offers a games room gym and built in theater. Thankfully, Justin isn't the only one who loves Ontario. Haley says that this property has become their sanctuary and the couple loves to spend time on the scenic lake. So now we've taken a look at a handful of Justin Bieber's properties, most of which he shares with his wife Haley, as well as his starter home in Calabasas from his wilder days. After checking out four of Justin's mansions, which was your fave? I think I like the one in Ontario because it's right on the water and clearly offers a ton of peace and quiet. But the new Beverly Park Park Estate is also a dream. Be sure to let me know your favorite Bieber home down in the comments or what features you like best. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and tell me whose house tours you want me to feature next on this channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!